Yo, what's going on everybody? Nelson from Hooper Life. We're back with another episode of our series, Check, Check Up! And today, with the help of David and Andrew from the Fung Brothers, today's topic is gonna be NBA trade rumors. Where will they go? We don't know! All right, Nelson, so who are the top players that are on the trading block right now? All right, some notable players who are on the trade block. We have Ryan Anderson, woo, Markeith Morris, Lance Stevenson, Brandon Jennings, Rudy Gay, Todd Gibson, Greg Monroe, Nick Young, Dwight Howard. I mean, the list goes on, but let's talk about Dwight. He still feels like he's not getting enough touches. I mean, like, he wants to go to the team where he was, like, in Orlando Magic, where he was the number one go-to. Oh, if I was a GM and coach, I would never make Dwight the number one option. A big man that's slow, that don't got moves, that can't, can't shoot, shoot. Mm -hmm. can't shoot, he free can't throws. shoot and he can't pass, a big man like that, nowadays in the NBA, no way. He's not Superman Dwight anymore ever since his back injury. He's getting his shots blocked by, like, Bogut. And I'm like, bro, it's Andrew Bogut. He can't even jump. We're gonna move on to the Atlanta Hawks, who are actually throwing two All Stars in the trading block. Uh -oh. Jeff Teague and Al Horford. A potential trade rumor with Al Horford, Kelly Olynyk, David Lee, and the Dallas Mavericks 2016 first round pick for Horford, Kyle Korver, and Mike Muscala. I'm all about like if something's not working and it doesn't look like it's gonna work. Switch it up, yeah. man. You gotta think, when you lose a player like Horford and you replace him with like a worse player, the other players that are better get more touches and sometimes they might be That's happier. Yeah. It's just like yeah. Blake going out on the Clippers. Yeah. Everyone's happier and more willing to play defense because they're getting more touches on offense. Yeah, they're, they're doing extremely well yeah. with the Clips, you know, without Blake. We should talk about the Clippers. I, I speak of the Clippers. Someone said, I forgot who in uh, one of the sports writers said, they were. I didn't say they were willing, but they would go for trading Blake Griffin for Klay Thompson. All right, that was thrown out there, I, I'm sure. Yeah. I, I, obviously, I they wouldn't do I it. See it. I don't see it. How stupid would I mean, that be? That would, I, they wouldn't do it. <laughs> you designed the Warriors team perfectly to win, and throwing Blake in there would make them lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, the reason they said that, because other than getting offense, he doesn't shooting. He doesn't do anything else. He doesn't rebound. He doesn't pass. Like he, he, does, does up, he doesn't. He, does he does D up, but he's he doesn't long. get he's any big. steals. But the reason why they said throw Blake Griffin in there is that Blake Griffin get you the points. He could get you the rebounds. He could get you assists as a power forward. But then I'm thinking like they already got Draymond Green. You're like, yeah. why would you want you know? BG uh, I think Draymond and Blake would bunch. I would say Blake is what I like to call a flow killer. Yeah, I feel like he tries to do too much when you know when he tries, when he tries, he's, he's when he tries to pretend to be a guard when he ain't. He goes and then he shoots like this. <laughs> <laughs> what, about uh, the time, uh, uh, what about the time when he was jumping up and down with the ball? There have been some rumors of Cleveland trying to trade for Tyreek Evans and Omer Sheik from the New Orleans Pelicans. Cleveland's looking for a better rim protector because I assume they know they feel like Timothy Mozgov's not doing the job. Right. The only possible trades that can happen is if Cavs sent Anderson Vergel, Timothy Mozgov, and Mo Williams to the Pelicans in exchange for Tyreek Evans and a Sheik. Cavs would use a Sheik but not Tyreek. Yeah, that's that's tough to say. Is, it's like Mo, Mo you... Williams, who's like a clutch veteran shooter, right, for yeah. tight for two people who cannot shoot. Right. Yeah. And you know the Cavs are not that good at shooting, so they need shooters. Real quick, um, fantasy trades that you would like to see but probably won't happen. I would like, like to see Demarcus get moved to a contender. Yeah. I would like that see would be nasty, bro. Because right now he's not even sniffing oh, the playoffs. I mean, right? No, he is. He is. They're like five games under the eighth seed. You know what trade I would like to see happen? but it's probably not ever gonna happen, is Chris Paul for Kyrie. He is a competitor, he really wants to win. So you know, you gotta give the man some respect as a guy who wants to win that hard, and he's not able to win, so Chris it kinda Paul's sucks. Chris Paul's passing to LeBron? Oh, wow. Chris Paul's the only way he's gonna win championship if he goes back to the East. Yeah, I, think I mean, so. I believe the, it. The West is too compacted with too many good teams, good point guards. All right, so the team who threw the speculation for the Carmelo trade was sending Carmelo to Miami. It's a three-team trade between the Heat, the Knicks, and Sacramento. So how it's gonna work, the Knicks would get Justice Winslow from the Heat, and yeah. Willie Colley Stein from the Kings. The Kings would get Robin Lopez, and obviously the Heat would get Carmelo. Essentially be the Knicks getting rid of Carmelo for like not much though. He could reunite with uh, Mario Stoudemire, man. <laughs> hey. All right, like, what's the one thing we want to see happen? The one we really, really want to see. And here's why I would want Jeremy Lin to go. It wouldn't happen, but I want him to go to the Warriors so that he could win a championship. A system that I could see him potentially fitting in would be the Spurs. I'd like to see Jeremy under Popovich. That would be interesting. Uh, or Brooklyn. I feel like, all right, Brooklyn on a sucky end, he would, like, start on Brooklyn, get a lot of playing time, get to do his thing, he'd be in New yeah. York again. And think about Jeremy passing to, like, Brooke Lopez. That would work. That would work, yeah. Bring Novak back. <laughs> Snowback! Shout out to Steve Novak. 
Think how much fun Steve Novak was having back then. Where is he right now? I don't know. He's, yeah. I think he's somewhere. We're gonna go back in time, 2007, because this article just released. Back in 07, Kobe Bryant for LeBron James. Back when Kobe, you know, he was being frustrated with the garbage Lakers team that he had, you know, after winning three championships with Shaq and Shaq left. Kobe wanted to win again. He said either get me superstar players or get me out to another team. Okay. I heard the Cavs say that that's the only team that actually called specifically for LeBron because that's the only team that had anybody that was comparable to LeBron. Yep, because nobody mean, else called for LeBron because they knew they couldn't get yep. it. How would you think that would have shaken up the whole NBA, man? If that were to happen, I'm pretty glad I never saw a LeBron in a Lakers jersey. Yeah, me too. I don't repping the repping my hometown right there, man. No, I, I mean, I, I'm as, glad for other reasons. As, as, I, no, I wouldn't want to see LeBron. <laughs> as much respect as I have for LeBron, you know, he is. An unbelievable player, but he's a crybaby. All right, thank you guys for watching that episode of Check Up NBA Trade Rumors. Let us know down in the comments below what other NBA trades that you guys would like to see happen before the NBA trade deadline. Can we just root for a trade? Like trade, 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 everyone, trade, 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 tr